Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Setting Up the Guessing Game Project, our MVC edition. In this video, you'll learn how to create an Eclipse project that will eventually include the components of an MVC-based web application. We'll also take a brief tour of the results of setting up our project. In the spirit of thinking before programming, let's review the components that we're going to make for our simple guessing game MVC project. From our diagrams, we see that we're going to have three webby type elements. These will all be stored in the web content section of our Eclipse project. These will be index.jsp, guess.jsp, and correct.jsp. We'll have two Java classes. So these are going to be stored in our source folder of our Eclipse web application. To keep things organized, we'll make a couple of packages. We'll call one controllers, and that's where we're going to put our servlet, which we call game servlet. The other package we'll call model, and that's where we're going to put our Java class called game number. So here we are in Eclipse with the Java EE perspective. All we are going to do in this video is to create the initial project. The various components that we'll put in the project will be the subject of later videos. Click on the File menu, select New, and Dynamic Web Project. We need to give our project a name. I'm going to call mine Guessing Game MVC version. I'll note that the default location is in my workspace. The target runtime, I'll make sure that it's set to Apache Tomcat. I'm using the Dynamic Web Module ver version of 3.0. I'll choose as the configuration the default for Apache Tomcat. Nothing to change in EAR membership or working sets, and I'll select Next. Nothing to change here, but note that the source folder on our build path for any Java classes is going to be the SRC folder. As we'll see in a moment, we'll subdivide this into two packages, one for our model components and one for any servlets or controller. Click Next. Note the context root is my application name. The content directory for webby elements is the web content folder. And I'm choosing not to generate a web.xml deployment descriptor. Now with everything on the dialogs in order, let's click Finish. Let's have a look at what was created in the Project Explorer window of our Java EE perspective. Note we have a new project, Guessing Game MVC version. If I open that up, I see all of the usual folders. Let's open up Java Resources and I see an SRC folder. We are going to store all of our Java classes for our project in this SRC folder. Now it's a good habit not to store any Java classes directly in the SRC folder. Instead, we want to make packages in order to organize our files. We're going to make two packages, so let's right-click on SRC. Let's select New, Package. Servlets are going to serve as the controller elements of any MVC design pattern. So let's make one package just to hold servlets. I'm going to call that one controllers. I'll type that in and then hit finish. And we see that the controllers package has been added as a sub package of our SRC folder. Other Java classes are typically going to be part of the model of the MVC design pattern. So let's right click on source, new, package, Let's create a second package, and we'll call this one simply model. In our model, we're going to want to include the game number Java class. I'm going to go ahead and import one that I created in a previous example. So I'm going to right-click on model, select import. I want to pull in a single file, so I'm going to choose file system. Now I want to browse for the directory. Here I am in my workspace. I have an earlier guessing game servlet version where I'm using the game number class. So let's go into there. It's stored under source under the model directory. So let's hit open. I see game number listed. So let's select that. Check the other options on the page. They look good. And hit finish. 
Now I see that the game number Java class is loaded in my model package. So, so far we have a place to put our servlets. We have a place to put any model classes and I imported one so I could reuse it. Let's look at where we're going to store any JSP files. The web content folder is where we will store anything that is what I call webby. This would be HTML files, JSP files, images, audio, video, even CSS or JavaScript files would go under web content. We can create subfolders for any of the items as well, but they must start here in web content. Web content will be considered the root of our application. So any URLs that point to our application will first point to the root and then anything else will be pointed to relative to that location. At this point we have created our initial project. Let's have one last look at the components that we're going to put into these locations. So our Eclipse web project is now set up and it's ready to create the various components. Please check out the videos where we create the index.jsp, the guest.jsp, correct.jsp, our game servlet, and the game number. For more information about the concepts in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. Background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.